So today we're going to be doing eyeshadow for hooded eyes over 50. I'm going to share with you some of my tips and tricks that I love using to help with my hooded eyes. We're also going to explore a little bit with color, eyeliner, and mascara. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugs to a high end and everything in between. And today I thought it would be fun to do a good old fashioned eyeshadow tutorial for hooded eyes. Now, if you're here and you're over 50, over 40, or even if you have hooded eyes, I wanna share with you some of my tips and tricks that I learned over the years since my eyes have gotten hooded to help you out to apply eyeshadow. So without further ado, let's get into the video. How you doing? So yeah, I'm super excited to share this video with you. I know I like to review a lot of makeup here on my channel, but sometimes, you know, a lot of you guys are going, oh my gosh, I love your makeup look. I love your eyeshadow look. And sometimes I gloss over it really fast because I just wanna review the product, share with you why I'm so excited about the product. But today I thought it would be fun to just do a nice tutorial and maybe learn a few tips and tricks that might help you out with your eyeshadow game. Now, I do love neutral eyeshadow palettes. They are my go-to for every single day, but I do love a pop of color every now and again. Essence just came out with their new Blooming Wings eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. It's on theme for Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, if you will. I could not resist this eyeshadow palette. It is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette and it retails for $12.99. It's got a beautiful mix of neutrals, pops of color, warm tones, cool tones, shimmers, and metallics. And I couldn't help but wonder, hello gorgeous, it is almost the exact dupe to the Huda Beauty nude eyeshadow palette. I mean, come on now. How did Essence rip that off? I'd rather pay $12.99 than $65 for this. Don't get me wrong, this eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty is absolutely stunning. I've actually been wearing a lot of color recently. Yes, I love pinks. I think pinks are very flattering on brown eyes, on blue eyes. It's all about placement, blending, and what shades to use for your hooded eyes. So the most important thing for applying eyeshadow if you have hooded eyes or crepey eyes is you got to make the eyelid a space that is smooth as silk one product that i absolutely love using and this is a skincare product it's from city beauty it is their lid lifting treatment you've heard me talk about this many many times on this channel because it's that good it's like a little cream and you just use a tiny tiny amount you just smooth it all over your eyelids and it's literally like an iron smoothing out your crepiness i've also used it underneath my eyes through here to make that area super smooth. Definitely start out with a good eyeshadow primer. Now that you've applied your primer to smooth out the crepiness, you can use an eyeshadow primer. Now, there's so many different types of eyeshadow primer that you can use. Eyeshadow primer basically is gonna make that eyeshadow color pop and last longer. But if you're lazy like me, <laughs> I just go ahead and use concealer. And today's concealer that I'm using today is some a concealer that I've actually did not think I was going to like. It is from Urban Decay. It is their Quickie 24 Hour Concealer. I've actually been really liking this concealer. It has a nice consistency. It doesn't settle under my eyes and it does provide full coverage, but love this concealer. So if you have oily eyelids, might I suggest to take a tiny flat brush and just press some powder onto your lids. That way, using a setting powder is going to absorb those extra oils so your eyeshadow does not crease. Or you can use a base eyeshadow close to your lid color. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna take shade right through here on a fluffy brush, pop it all over the lid. And it's basically just setting your concealer and it practically matches my eyelids. So now that we have our concealer set, our primer set, and we've got that base shade on, now we can go in with colors. Look closely, you can see the fold right through here and through here. What we want to do with that is create depth and you wanna recess that flap of skin. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this peachy shade right through here, and I'm going to go above my crease right through here. and brush it right through here, just to create some depth and definition to recede that upper eyelid. This is such a great little eyeshadow palette, you guys. It's super easy to blend, it's affordable, it's accessible. You know I love Essence products, but I'm just going back and forth with that fluffy brush, 
creating that depth right through there above my crease. Because if I look straight ahead, you can still see that color. If you're going to look down into your mirror and you go right into the crease, once you look up, you're not gonna be able to see that color. So we wanna go ahead and make sure you're looking straight ahead and applying that eyeshadow right through there. And this color is so easy to buff in and already my eyes are showing a little depth, a little definition, my eyes aren't so flat. Now, on a smaller brush, and this is a Sigma E25, I wanna go in with almost this mauve shade through here, take it on my brush, tap off the excess. Make sure when you're applying your eyeshadow that you tap off the excess. You don't wanna apply a great deal of product because it'll be difficult to blend out. So what I like to do is take this tapered brush, I'm gonna look straight ahead, right? And I'm just gonna go right above where that crease is. And I'm almost like not stabbing my eye. That's a little harsh. I'm just kind of packing it in there like that to recede that fold, that flap of skin. And this is such a great little brush, you guys. I did not know Sigma brushes were available in Target, but as you can see, I'm just packing it through there and it's not, there's not a lot of product on there. You're just creating that depth and that shadow to recess that skin. Look at the depth and definition on this eye and then carrying it over that transitional shade. And already my eyes, huge difference. You see the difference? Now, my left eye is considerably more hooded, so you have to make adjustments. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm looking straight ahead and I'm packing it on. What's great about this eyeshadow, it's not so pigmented where you're like packing a lot of product on. You can actually control it. And if you're curious about what products I'm wearing on my complexion, I'll be sure to put them down in the description box below. Isn't that pretty? And it's super soft and super feminine. I think we, we have this mindset. Once you get to a certain age, you can't wear color. You have to stick to neutrals. You know, I do love a one and done eyeshadow look. It's especially easy, quick and easy for me. But there are some days where I want to have like a more glamorous, more vibrant look. And I think pinks, burgundies, and warm tones are just especially flattering on mature eyes. I think it really just brings out the color of your eyes. Now, whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna take it on the corner of my eyes and just flick it out. For this particular area through here, the outer thirds of your eye, that can be an issue because that's where your fold is going to fall. So what you want to do is take a deeper color to make that flap of skin, I hate saying flap of skin, to recede. So what you're gonna do is take a tapered brush, a tinier tapered brush, and take it with a deeper shade. And I'm gonna go in with the shade through here. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking the product and swirling it, and then right on the outer thirds of my eye, literally just stamping it. and bringing it up, deepening that fold. Still looking up and straight ahead. I know, it's, it's kind of hard for me to do facing the camera, but it's actually once you get used to it, it'll make a huge difference in how you apply your makeup. It's where you look, how you apply, and how well you blend. But isn't that pretty? I'm gonna go ahead and go on the other side. And since this side is a little more hooded, I go a little deeper. And I'm taking that up through there. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush and just blend that out, soften everything up. This doesn't have any product on it. It's literally clean and I'm just cleaning that up and blending it softly out. I'm gonna take that same flat brush and I wanna go in with that lighter shade, just a tiny bit, and run it along my lower lash line and look straight ahead. Because we wanna have some definition and this is just my personal opinion. I don't like to wear mascara on my lower lashes. I just wanna have a soft under eye. Having a nice blurred under eye is more flattering for the mature eye and especially for hooded eyes. Because if you're gonna put mascara under there, it's gonna call more attention to that under eye area, especially if you have fine lines and under eye circles. So I just like to keep that soft and blurred. Can mature eyes or hooded eyes handle shimmer or glitter eyeshadow? If that is your cup of tea, absolutely. You can use a shimmer so it looks really smooth like glass, but a shimmer shade that's really smooth and glossy is very, very flattering on mature eyes. And it's about placement, where you're gonna place it on your eyelid space. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my fingertip and I'm gonna go in with this shade through here 
and it's almost like a champagne color. Isn't that pretty? So as you're looking straight ahead, this is really hard, you wanna just pop it right in the middle so it'll open up your eye. And since it is hooded and you want to see that color, you wanna bring it up. It just makes the eye look so wide awake. And I'm just using my fingertips to blend it. It's not too glittery. It really is a nice shimmer right through there. Look at how it opens up my eye. And then whatever's left on my fingertip, I'm just gonna go into the corner like that. Isn't that nice? Ooh. As you can see, I'm looking forward. You can still see all the colors that we've used. You can see where we applied the deepest shade through here to recess that skin. You can see the shimmer because we placed it above our crease. So when you're looking straight ahead, you can see that shimmer and you can see your eyes popping. Now for eyeliner. When you have hooded eyes or if you have mature eyes like I do, what I love to do is tight lining under my upper lash line. And tight lining is just literally putting eyeliner right under your lash band. It is kind of daunting the first time you attempt it, but once you learn how to do it, it's so easy. It really does make your eyelash band look thicker. It really gives your eyes that extra definition without adding the weight or color or heaviness to the top of your eyelash band. So one particular eyeliner that I've been absolutely loving is from L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Gel Grip Liner. And I love the shade Brown Denim because brown I think is beautiful on the eyes. It's not as jarring or severe as black eyeliner. I think brown is very soft and muted, but it's still gonna give you the definition that you need. And this is a very comfortable gel eyeliner, super soft, it's not gonna hurt. Some people would tell you to lift your lid up and do it like this. I don't like doing that because I don't like tugging on my skin. So what I like to do is just look straight down into the mirror, take it and just run it across. You're still gonna get that same effect without tugging on that very delicate skin. And then I bring it all the way to the corner and back out. Do you see the difference? Tight lining, no tight lining. Makes a huge difference. And the best part about this gel eyeliner, it does not transfer. It doesn't budge or smudge. It really is a fantastic eyeliner. So if you're looking for an eyeliner that's soft, that's blendable, that's not gonna transfer, this is, this is quickly becoming my favorite. And it's totally affordable. But if you're hardcore and you wanna have a dramatic wing effect, or you wanna create more of a recess on that hood right there, you can take an eyeliner and just literally just on the outer thirds of your eye, deepen up right through there. Sometimes I like doing that to create more of a shadow there and just flick it out like that. You wanna create your eyes to look, not cat eye, I didn't mean to say that, not necessarily a cat eye, you just wanna elongate your eyes. You don't want to bring the focus down, you want to bring the focus up and out. And then what's cool about this is it's got a smudger on the end, softly smudge that out. Now, for mascara, I'm gonna go in with, oh my gosh, this is the mascara that's going viral. It is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I know, it's creating some waves, but this is actually a really good mascara for lengthening and lifting your eyelashes. It does take a learning curve to learn how to use this wand tip applicator because it's flat. Is that a hair? It's flat and it's got teeth on both sides, but what I like to do, instead of putting mascara on all of my eyelashes, I like to focus two thirds into my eyes, like that. I don't wanna go all the way into my eye, I just wanna go two thirds the way out. And when I apply the mascara, of course, wiggle root to tip, you wanna fan those lashes out, not just straight up, but almost fanning them out and this mascara will make it go that way. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Now, one more step for our eyeshadow look. It's gotta do with the brows. Now, I've already done my eyebrows. I kinda like to do my eyebrows first. When I do my makeup, I kinda, it just kinda sets up the face for me. And of course, I used my all-time favorite brow pencil from e.l.f. It is the 
ultra precise brow pencil. It's got your typical spoolie and I just love the consistency of this brow pencil and it's so easy to use to fill in those sparse areas. But recently I've been using the Grand Brow Enhancing Serum. It has made a huge difference. I've seen my brows grow in thicker. I mean, I thought I plucked them all out in the 90s, but since I started using it a couple months ago, I've seen really nice growth. But yeah, you just wanna make sure you fill in your brows because the brows are kind of like the window frames to your eyes. Don't neglect your brows for sure. But here we are with the final look. What do you think, guys? I know it seems a little intimidating at first when you're trying to create an eyeshadow look, especially when you're pulling from such a huge eyeshadow palette like this. It is 18 pans of shades, but all you need to do is zone in on the shades that appeal to you that you think that are gonna work and work in a gradient. You wanna start out with the lightest shade first, transitional, and then the deepest shade to create that depth and shadow to recede your hoods. But I think this look turned out beautiful. I think it's pretty for every day. I love the fact that we incorporated some plums and some pinks in it just for the occasion of Valentine's Day. I think the mascara, how we wing it out, literally wing out and fan out our eyelashes, it's gonna draw that attention up up and out as opposed to creating our eyes going down and droopy. So thanks for hanging out with me today and letting me share some of my tips and tricks for hooded eyes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. In case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down there. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.